Oh hey y'all, Fatty here, and thanks for joining me in the Bee Cave on Crystal Isles, where it is stickier than your mama's bed sheets. And today, we are going to be talking about how to tame yourself a bee to get yourself a personal beehive. And let's not waste any time and jump right into it. So in this video, I'm going to really break it down just into kind of three little simple parts. Why the hell you'd want to tame one, the basics of what kind of food it needs, um, you know, what you need to actually go tame one, everything about the hives, general locations, and then we're going to jump into the strategies. Now really, the only reason why I see to really tame one of these things is to get a personal beehive. Now I know many of you guys have such a pain trying to find all these beehives around the map, then you have to build some kind of structure to go there and like rip them out and then you get like six of them and it's just, it's a pain in the ass. And unless you're an S plus player who has like the beehive that's just super simple to get, this is gonna be the way that you wanna go. Now the great thing about when you tame one of these bees is they're really simple. The hardest part is just finding a hive and finding an active hive. And then it's really just, uh, you know, having some bug repellent and some simple stuff just to get this passive tame. And then once you do, you are going to have a personal beehive that you can put down anywhere in your base and even pick up if you got to move it. So if you're getting raided and you're trying to upload things and, you know, beehive happens to be one of your more precious items or something that you really care about, you can easily demolish the hive. It's going to pop up as a bee again, and then you can place it down as a hive again. It is just so incredibly awesome. That I just want to share this information with you and uh, let's get back back into the, the basics of what it's going to eat, what you're going to need, and where to go. So when it comes to the queen bees, you're not going to just be walking around and see one kind of floating around. Where you're going to find them is anywhere where you can find the beehives. Now that's going to be really just in the redwoods. Anywhere you go in the redwoods, you're going to see them kind of high up in the tree a little bit, and those are going to be the spots where you need to go to really find them. Now above that, they're really easy. They are just a passive tame with rare flowers. Now the kind of caveat to that is you have to destroy the beehives. Now not all of these beehives are going to be surefire, anything like that. The beehives are either going to be a dud or they're going to be a stud in my opinion is the way I say it. A dud you can still pull honey out from but it's not going to have the queen bee inside. Easiest way to check it is I personally like to do this whole thing with a wyvern. It just makes it super simple. The, the breath outside is a little bit bigger. Um, for me, um, what I like to do to test it is to just go up with my wyvern, bite it real quick to see if you get the the little worker bees to spawn that come out of it and if not then it's going to be a dud. Another method is using any kind of firearm, bow, something like that that you can hit from a distance. If you see the little bees pop out then you know it's going to have a possibility to have a queen and most likely will. Um, now once you actually get to that point and you find a good beehive, what you want to do is make sure you have a ghillie suit on and what you want to do is make sure that you have bug repellent. It's really easy to make, it's not a lot of ingredients so make sure you make a few of those just to be prepared and ready for it. Now on top of that really all you need to do is then find one, you know, attack the beehive, get it to destroy so the queen pops out and then you are ready to tame it. Um, and we'll talk about the different strategies for what you need to do to be prepared to tame it. Now, while I was doing research for this video, I saw a bunch of different methods, and even when I've done this in the past, I've seen a lot of people do it in different ways, where they build like a box around it so that the the spawns kind of get trapped in and you can just kind of poke at them, as well as the queen bee doesn't run away. I'm not one that likes to waste a lot of time having to farm up resources to build something just to get it destroyed once, especially when it's something as simple as just taming a queen bee, because they are really not that difficult. Um, you know, all this is done on official and it only takes a couple rare flowers and it's just, it's super simple. So like I said, the main strategy is not going to involve any building or anything like that. If you want a tutorial that has that, go find a different one because you don't need that for official. So what you're going to need to do is have a set of ghillie suit. Um, the nicer the better, you know, if you only have prim, then, you know, rock a prim, make sure you bring maybe two sets just in case. And on top of that, rare flowers and you're going to need, sorry, rare flowers, you're going to need um, bug repellent as well. You're going to need some kind of uh, flyer mount or just at least an attack mount. I, I like wyverns, especially on Crystal Isles. They're simple to get, really easy to use. And then some kind of ranged weapon. Now, the, the strategy here is you're going to find a beehive. You're going to test it out, make sure it has the bees that they kind of spawn out and that you're going to be able to get a queen bee from it. And then what you're going to do, is you're going to kind of park your wyvern a little bit away and then as you, what you're going to do is you're just going to shoot at it, whether it's a compound bow, crossbow, gun, whatever you got, just use it, shoot it, and the, the ad should come to you, right? And then when they do, just wyvern breath on, or, you know, if you have like a Giga or a Rex or whatever you're rocking, even like a Stego, just tail swipe, kill those, 
you gotta just rinse and repeat. Now you wanna be really careful because you can easily kill the queen beach while trying to destroy the hive. So just be paying attention. A lot of people will um, do this by biting and stuff like that. I don't like to use that method personally. Um, I just like to destroy it, see what com or hit it, see what comes down. And then once it does, all you have to do is walk up behind it, uh, press E with the rare flowers in that last slot, and you're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are only 50 subs away from hitting 3k, which is just insane. Hitting the 3k mark, hitting the 1 million view mark has just been like a complete goal of mine. So if you guys haven't subbed, subbed. If you have subbed, share this out in all your ARC Discord. Share it with your ARC tribe. Share it with your grandma. Share it with your dog. Create a second account and sub. Help me out. Help me reach that goal. And I will see you guys in the next video, which is either going to be how to do the Gamma Rockwell with uh, with no tames, or it's going to be a skiff build, and or maybe why you should use raw meat instead of cooking meat to feed your baby dinos. I haven't quite decided yet, but it's going to be one of those three. So if you want to see one of those specifically, leave a comment down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.